uh, if you have been able to create the course and add the activities beyond that what i have shared is the creative common licensing which is required to be known to teachers every teacher should be aware what kind of licensing rules have been prescribed have been popular and have been used all over the world uh, we are getting more participants we are less than 100 now so still less than 100 so what i'll do i'll share with you something uh, i'm working on creating a quiz so what i've done i have taken a notepad document and in the notepad document what i have done if you uh, i guess you all can see the format in the notepad Yes, you can see the format as I can see it in the sharing thing also. I have taken a notepad document. In the document, I have named it as CITV quiz. The first sentence is, this is a notepad document. Please remember notepad document, the text file to be true, not a Word document I have taken, directly to, taken a text file. Which platform is being shared with you for VT, virtual teaching? Now. As you can see, I have given the options edX, Swim, Moodle, YouTube and I have typed answer C. Now, rather than looking at the words, kindly look at the format. The format is, I have typed it, pressed enter, typed A, placed a bracket, then marked a space and then write one option. After that, enter, then write, I have written capital letters B, placed this bracket, mark the space like uh, space bar then another option enter c bracket space moodle then d bracket space this and then after pressing enter i have written in all capital letters a n s w e r colon this colon has to be remembered then mark the space as after every punctuation mark we do and then i have said c is the correct answer so what i'll do now this is the next question and the next question in the same way if you can see this so create course category is in site a d m i n i s t r -E administration i'll press capital b we'll use a bracket create course category is in site administration or it is in site is on dashboard let's create a complex thing now this or d option is google so i have made three questions only i have saved this notepad minimized it moving on to the course now moving on to the course and I go to this option believing that I have not signed out oh student option is there I need to change it to my normal role so only then I'll be able to edit things so I'll switch to my normal role which is the course admin and the one who will be able to do and make the editings so I change it to student, I go here, turn the editing on and I reach the last segment of the course. Okay, just a second, let it come complete. Now what I'm doing, I'm going to assessment and evaluation. I'm saying add topics. No, I'm going to add an activity or resource. I'll go to quiz, I click here quiz and after this thing I click on add the quiz. When I click on add the quiz it will ask me for the name CIT VT small test on my side P question quiz this is the description i have given timing and all these things are there i can like make it the time limit for them that they can i'll be giving them only three minutes to attempt this is what i can do but i'm keeping it open at present so this won't work 
let's make it zero but still don't enable it i can set open the quiz the restrictions are here that way the restrictions that we had access can be restricted here but the restrictions and the timings of the quiz are here open the quiz and close the quiz this is also there you can you can pre-determine this thing that on 22nd of april at 12 3 it will open and on the same day at 12 25 it will close and then it can be used live in the class also that everybody is sitting in the computer lab or using their mobile phones the students can you make use of the modal app also the modal app is also there so what i'm doing i'm returning to the course after doing two things giving a name to the quiz and doing these things and now you can see there's a quiz here cit vt small test quiz please remember i just gave a name i created this block giving it a name and a description nothing else was done now there are no questions now now what would you do what can i do like edit the quiz yes because there are no questions or i go here and I'll say edit the settings, group overrides, user overrides, edit the quiz, preview the quiz, results and grades and all these things are. So I'm jumping to edit the quiz. Option is here also. Option is here also. Following the, the same prescribed method, we go to the gear and then we click on edit quiz. When we go to edit quiz, we will see an interface where we can create the questions multiple items this is something which will allow us to edit things this will allow us to to what do you say create a quiz for us now we haven't done anything so we we are not able to do something here so what i'm going to add how can i edit something which is not there so um, i can edit the heading if i want to like i'll say quiz one then i move on to add a new question from a question bank or a random question a random question comes from the pre-saved the repository of my site will give me the questions by default they will come here you will keep on clicking it and then the questions will appear a new question can be created this is the same way you created the manual you say enrollment one user can be added through the single user add new user one question can be added with the add a new question i'm clicking here what type of question you want to add you want to add a multiple choice you want to add a true and false you want to add a matching question you want to add a short answer question a num numerical i'm not opening the numerical one essay essay type question can be there they can upload a file or they can type online also both these things are there but see this must be graded because you cannot pre uh, you cannot set that thing there so what I'm like, if I add a essay question, default for yes, questions name and questions text. And please see, general feedback is there. Marks, I say default marks are 20 marks essay type question. Response options, 15 lines in the box. I'll say no, make it 35 lines. Allow the attachments. Yes, they can send one attachment also. Accepted types of the attachments. If I put this, it means anything can be sent. Or I can select from here what attachment the same way you did your assignments so these things are there graders information we are not doing response te template we we can say this thing but we are not using it now these are the things which are there require the students to enter the text HTML editor is there these are the options plain text can also be asked we are keeping it HTML editor so that the bold and all those things also appear so these this is here that this question text is required what is the name of the pre sid president of india this is the question ex explain the indian cul ture now that way the first question doesn't qualify to be So this is the question essay type i'll say questions name questions text questions name is unit four test this can be there the question name if you can you want to name it so this thing goes as in essay type question but the actual thing we are doing is we are adding a quiz i'm just adding it for you you have to grade it that, that is the thing that we need to remember <clears throat>
okay save the changes save changes in continue editing then i have saved now this is here you can see this thing has come here in the quiz i have added it in the quiz itself i can add an essay type question also in the quiz i can add one more thing that you can see add a new question and the question types are multiple choice the question types are short answer type just a second i must select a question type we are here so these are the this is like one question which has been added create a new question we are moving and when we are creating a question we need to know that we need to edit the question and when we are going to move on to like editing thing see uh, let me like go to the assessment portion again so that i can select the question thing this is the quiz one question has been added you can see attempt the question now but like this is not being enabled by us i'm editing the quiz this is this i am deleting it finding that uh, this is required to be removed as a test we had added it here i'll add one more question the actual thing that we want like here yes the complete house is here so add a new question adding the new question will make us reach the segment where we could select the multiple choice essay type short answer matching questions fill in the blanks questions true and false question okay question type has not made you must select a question type i'm sorry i'm missing that thing here it is so we'll turn the edits this is the small test that we had started here So we move on to adding a question multiple choice. So I click on multiple choice just so that like these all these options are there drag and drop embedded answers and all these are things which are required to be like practiced by your description is also possible. Essay type is also possible drag and drop is possible calculated multi choice is possible. So we wish that you explore these things when you people work on the next stages of your skills in in Moodle so i have added multiple choice question and this is adding a multiple choice question you can see now that goes to the v4t teacher and then question's name is what is the name of this painting program this is question name so i can bring the question text here question name is program name what is the name of the this training program this is default marks are one only one mark to be given feedback i can give here i can stop the feedback also this feedback comes when the student have completed the question unlike specific feedback which depends on the question type and what response the students give this is a common feedback which goes to them multiple answers one answer only allowed shuffle the choices for them yes number of choices a b and c i'll say no i'll give one two three so choice one oops choice two see i can insert images i can make videos here i can put audios also that is my my way of something like doing moodle what is this program about v i r q a virtual teaching and suppose i'm giving these three options let me do one more online video editing now virtual teaching is the correct one so i'll say 100 percent give here here no mark to be given 
so this is what is a manual one no i don't need extra blank so what i'm going to do i'm going to save the changes please remember manual one is going to take a lot of time so we are going to go the moodle way so if i'm going to save it now see this was 20 marks this is one mark so if i delete it this this whole quiz will become only less marks so maximum grade is possible what total marks are 21 so maximum grades are like if you if you if you remember the question papers which which we make they are being made to score maximum 100 marks but the question papers are actually of 120 or 140 marks considering that there are choices between two questions but if they attempt all of them over attempt happens so here we can say that maximum they can score here is 21 these are the grades which will be going to 100% grading so what i'll do i have saved it i'll get back I'll shift my, my role to a student and I'll see what happens here. Once the quiz has been started and attempted, you cannot edit the quiz. That is something which you need to need to remember. I cannot manage the quiz being a student. So let me go to the dashboard and jump into my course. I have completed 7% of it because I did something. Now this is the small test as a student. I am checking for you. Attempt the quiz now. Now this is explanation of Indian culture, Indian culture is as old as the times and then I'll say it is something that is not known but not even unknown to us now suppose this is something that i have written here and i thought because my teacher had given me a permission to attach a file also so i may say that my essay is attached in the file so this is possible i'll say next page on first page there was one question everyone on second page can you see this what is the name of this training program so you want me to score that one mark or not this is what we saw in the morning one of the faculty had done so i'll say virtual teaching this is what your answer is now i have done now you can see answer saved answer saved the gradings we had disabled that grades will not be shown summary of the attempt should i should i submit all and finish or return to the attempt because attempts were not fixed so i'll say submit all and finish let me see what do i get confirmation one is subjective type will be graded the second is you can see is correct so this is a quiz this one will be graded by the teacher your answer is correct the correct answer is virtual teaching this is what has come to me and if i change it as a as a teacher you'll say return to my normal role and i go to participants i can see that mr virtual teaching is active for 59 seconds or another account logged in i'll click on grades let me see if the student portion is like able to see something ctvit no because uh, there were two questions so the grades are not visible here but i can go to that part where i'll get to know get to see the quiz actually cit vt small test quiz you can see not yet graded finished submitted 1216 i'll say let me review it when i'm going to click on it make comments or overwrite the mark this is one thing answer saved not yet answered started at 1215 the first attempt was done but then we had got back and then added another question attempt finished complete this is the scoring attempt finished that is one so for this thing if i want that i want to give you like you you marks i'll be evaluating it or i can even edit the question so i can see the answers and i can make comments here like comments is good marks out of 20 i'll say let me give 15 and i'll say share ans wrs as a
so this is what i have sent or i can send an audio as a comment this interface remains almost same everywhere you have seen now this is what i am sending to the user as a teacher now this is about changes saved i'll close the window i'll switch it to the student role once let me see like if if i am able to see those things for you and after this we'll be learning how to upload those things in bulk now as a student i have got the grade of 16 if you you know how 16 came 15 marks came in the essay writing you can see marks 15 out of 20 and one came here so i've got 16 my grading is 76 percent so when i click on grades i can see that this particular thing has given me this grading this grading is not of students like this is for the small test like grades of everyone are there user report that uh, i'm the user i'm the user you can see and uh, these are the things i have done this one what are the benefits of vt in the world assignment has not been submitted so it is empty and marks are not there for me now we'll move on to the easy uh, the thing in which we were talking about adding a quiz so what we'll do one quiz is already there we cannot edit it because it has already been attempted and in process and of course a thing like uh, i'll change the role once a thing which is an in process when they have got the question paper why would we like want to edit that thing i'm turning the editing on now we are going to learn how to prepare that notepad i'm adding the quiz i am adding the quiz so quiz is being added now the quiz is we are working on the notepad now list quiz via txt file B U L K load of questions and answers. Not changing the grades and timings and everything, though the grades can be like uncategorized or it can be categorized when the grades are being defined. The grades to pass in this are one because there are three questions we believe at least one should be allowed. Attempts allowed. I'll say two attempts only and the highest grade will be counted or the average grade of the two attempts or the first or the last. So we opt for highest grade among the two out of the two. So I'm saving it and returning to the course. So this segment has been added. Now the segment is going to be edited and you will see there is no question. So I'm editing the quiz. In editing the quiz, what I'm doing is I'm from a question bank. Now, please see, there are no like uh, questions. These are the two questions which are there in the question banks. And uh, do I want to add them or not? That is my choice, but I'm not adding them. And why I'm not adding them is because I don't need them. So I need something else. And what something else is there? Like allow show questions from subcategories and something. So these questions are there and I'm not like adding them and using them. So what I'll do, I'll simply click here. So these options where we say new question from the question bank and a random question. These things are there and how we like upload things to the back end will move on to the, the content or the quiz upload along with along with this thing. Now here I'm showing you the notepad. You look at it and in your laptop also you can open a notepad document and please follow this prescribed format which says which platform is being shared with you and in it we enter here we mark a capital caps lock on and then a bracket and then space and then the alternatives and then answer colon and c this has to be written then who is taking the session for your group we do this and then this thing happens and then c and then these are there we did not write answer to it course category is in C so this is closed control S this is saved I'll move on like to to share with you 
the uploading now just i'll resume the screen share also uh, before that i want everyone to open a notepad prepare a question one or two in the same format which is being shared with you which has been shared i i think so i have i have shown you this thing i can upload it also please start preparing a notepad a quiz i mean to say this notepad has been shared with you now it's there in the whatsapp group also you can download it on the laptop and then you can share it Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, ma'am, I'm audible. I'm just taking a break so that people can reach this segment. Um, uh, we are we are like beginning with the hands-on thing. They they need to be ready with the notepad document also. And I assume that they are working on that thing. The presentation has vanished because I stopped it. जी सर अभी गेयर मीन्स उसी में जाके हमें कोर्स अभी करता हूँ सर हाँ जी मोड में गया कोर्स कोर्स क्वेश्चन बैंक मिल गया डन सब हाँ 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 ये फर्स्ट वाला याद है ठीक है सर ठीक है सर सो एवरी वन विल विल लाइक यू प्रिपेयर यू हैव इफ यू हैव डन दिस नोट पैड थिंग दीज आर द थ्री क्वेश्चन यू पीपल कैन सी एंड दीज आर द आंसर्स आई एम मिनिमाइजिंग इट एंड आई एम शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन अगेन विद यू सो दैट यू पीपल कैन सी वेयर डू आई अपलोड इट the course is here suppose i go to the course right in the beginning where we like start everything i click here this is the course and turn editing off once i'll do turn editing off and you can see that we had added a course at the bottom this quiz via text file notepad now i need to add a notepad i'll say turn editing on and if i do like turn editing on is being kept just for the sake of like keeping it active so what i'm doing i am going to more now please see virtual teaching training for teachers the main dashboard page after turn editing on we there is another option which is of use which is called more so i click on more when i click on more this appears course administration users and reports i'm not looking at the reports analytics graphs and all these things are there post lunch we you can have a look on it users i'm not like changing the users enrolled users are there manual enrollments are there these are enrollments to the course please remember not to the site now course administration has got this thing called question bank 
in the question bank the questions the categories of the questions import and export and purge the categories so what i'm doing i'm clicking on import to revise what we have done dashboard the course turn the editing on or from the same gear on the right hand side where you used to turn the editing on and off you click on more when you click on more you find that there is a thing called question that is called questions or the course or the question bank that way so when we move on to that question bank you see but we need to scroll down a bit you need to scroll down a bit and then you create on import when i click on import it opens another window for me to importing something now these are the file formats i close it nothing is seen i open it there are things blackboard embedded answers exam gift format hot potatoes which is a very nice uh, platform and also is a plug in with moodle but not available with genomeo in moodle cloud if you make your site you make your course and you you accept that uh, 200 mb and 50 user thing you can use hot potatoes which is a fabulous tool for creating quizzes and interactive material now out of all these things what i'm doing is the first one because this is a simple format for importing multiple choice questions from a text file that is txt file so i am taking this and please remember this blue color question mark the question mark is white it is the helping hand for us whenever we have got a doubt now i am clicking here because this is the format now i am going to choose a file and i am going to upload a file and going to the same folder and finding out cit v quiz open here it is i'll save it as quiz for me i'll say it is uh, all right reserves i'll say no let me make it creative commons for once these are the rights you can select here now please see everything has been decided file format the file is there ready to import i'll say import when the file is going to be like imported by me kindly see how we have done this dashboard my course the course the same way you used to see turn editing on and off you are going to see, go to more m o r e you'll open another option there are three options you go to question bank in the question bank you click on import and when you click on import it gives you certain things we have decided icon for the txt file we are uh, we are restricting ourselves to one uh, import that is txt file and txt file comes under the category of icon a i k e n and then we clicked on it we imported the file and these are importing three questions passing questions from the import for parsing questions i have come question 1 is this question 2 is this question 3 is this if you feel these questions are perfectly fine these were the questions we click on continue and now these are the questions which have got added to the stock now earlier we used to have these two only now we have got these questions also which are there and then i'll say I'm, i'm i'm i can move them to to the courses or the categories also but we are keeping them here and then these have reached your your course that way the same categories import export and purge categories the same options are again here but we are keeping ourselves to the questions the questions have been added and i what i'll do i'll open this in a separate tab the course virtual let me see if we can edit it now the editing is still on so we'll be landing on the quiz it says no questions it says uh, edit the quiz it says nothing it says from a question bank a new question a random i'll say from the question bank now the question bank opens everyone now can you see when i click on the plus symbol it is possible for me to add it i'll say let me add this now it got added one question has got added from the question bank i'll say this one now because if i want to add one i clicked on this one but if you want to make it a multi select i'll say this is required so i did this and then i'll say these two questions are going to go here program name what is the name of the program but this question seems that we did not want it to come or we want it we'll keep it now there were three questions but there were two three questions in the notepad there were two questions already created by us so there is one more question that we can bring 
that question is let me see is it possible for us to repeat the questions i have repeated the questions can you see now we repeated the questions but what has happened is who is taking the session for your group program name and which platform so there is one question that we can bring even now because the notepad had who is taking the session create course category is in which option this option this question we need to see whether it is still there yes it is there but we have not added so now we are adding it hereby we have got four i want please remember when you changed the name when you changed the names of the categories or the topics in your course in the dashboard or wherever here we do not have a save button we simply change the name and press enter when you press enter only then we get to know that things have changed suppose i want to change this i'm going to announcement for students and then i'll press enter it will be saved the same way if i want to edit that who's taking the session for your group i'll go to the pencil editing on i'll make it a five marks question i'll press enter five marks you can see total marks are eight now this question even if it is objective type it is three and please remember when we are making the questions it is it is possible for us to edit the question now here also this is for three marks and this question which is very significant qualifies for five now this is the quiz maximum grade i'll say these are 16 marks but nobody should get more than 15 so i can set the grades also we can keep it 16 now these are the questions i'll save it let's see and let's see it as a student whether the quiz has come or not we are talking about the second quiz i'll do a quick recap once we play the quiz and see how it is working this is the quiz we have created quiz via text file there are two attempts allowed highest grade will be counted attempt the quiz now now you can see who is taking the session for your group can you please type it in the chat box i'll follow your answer which form we have to choose okay you are telling me option c okay option c option c okay option c next page now what is the name of this training program now see such a difficult quiz option c no moodle hey this is virtual teaching everyone in the virtual teaching we are teaching you moodle option number three which platform is being shared with you for virtual teaching okay you say which platform is being shared with you for virtual teaching you say b okay b next create course category is in google site administration courses site administration or dashboard uh nisha ji says b c c b is okay fine those who have said b i'm taking your answer finish the attempt answer saved return to attempt see the 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 we we, we haven't enabled this thing the student cannot check it whether the answers are going wrong uh, submit and all finish submit confirmation all finish and see the results with your support I have got 15 out of 15 ding 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 this one finish the review and everything is done so answer is correct because these are correct i'll go to my normal role i'll look at the grades now and i can see this one has got 15 100 percent so the course total goes to 86 this is the course average so these are the things and uh, this is how this has happened we prepared a notepad in this format the statement if suppose like i do wrong in writing the answer word i i do not type a colon here so everything goes wrong so question a capital means the alternative then this bracket space bar and this and the same format followed for two or three options whatever you want you want it to be two 
it can be two if you want it to be four you can be four uh, who is taking your session uh, taking the session for your group all these options and then the same pattern is there and it, it goes on so closed and then what i did just to like uh, remind you this is the virtual teaching student segment i i'll show you how it was done i click i created a quiz let me just rewind the tape i turn the editing on i add a resource to content creation module now i go to quiz i click here i say test quiz 2 test quiz 2 and i don't change these things at present i'm not changing these and then i return where did i add it i added to content creation so i'm clicking on quiz to edit quiz here edit quiz now this is the editing thing this is the quiz that i have add a question from the question bank a random question now let's try a random one now these are the questions unit 4 test program name this and this i'll say add a random question done random default it has picked up all the questions there were categories that were being prepared when the questions were there so random question these are things like uh, you say who is taking and this and this let me shift them to default for test quiz 2 default for ed tech default for system so if i create these categories and the same things they also happen we we move these questions to default for ed tech so for the ed tech category these questions remain in, in in there and we use them when we are going to make the quiz so please remember the questions the question bank comes from the more segment the question bank comes from the more segment you upload the notepad document here and import but once you have imported you go back to the created quiz that you have done or you create the quiz now first you can upload the user separately you can add them separately so what i'm going to do test quiz 2 i cannot attempt i'll say let me edit the quiz this is there i'll say no i'll change the questions what i'll do i'll add a new question from the bank i'll select the questions now program name because these two are left here only so what i'll do i'll select the category of the questions from where they were the same way if it is physics subject category so you put all the questions in the physics uh, in the physics category and uh, this will happen only when you people have uploaded everything so what i'm doing default for ed tech so i'm going for default for ed tech these are the questions i'll select all of them and i'll add them and these questions have jumped here i'll simply save it oh maximum grade has gone to 10 so let me make it fine we'll keep it the grading so that the 100 percent gets completed even if the questions are three so what i'll do i'll go to the evaluation segment again and i'll turn my role as a teacher this is the second quiz but it has been placed under content creation so this is the quiz that we have just created switching my role to the student i can play the quiz and now my grades will appear for a different unit like the result will appear for a different unit this is the quiz as a student virtual teaching is playing attempt the quiz now and if you remember the attempts were not set so i can attempt it any times that way and i'm not bothering about the things i'm doing right or wrong let me go wrong about me so these are the three questions i'll say finish the attempts submit now what i have done i have done wonders so what i'll do it has gone wrong so i can finish the review i can get back to the if you say that i can go i i, I want to re like 
attempt it so i can do if i want to like jump back out of it i can also do that thing question bank is there categories and all these things are there because at present i'm in the student one that way so content creation is the one this is the quiz the first one that we did in which i had got 16 I'm op this is the second one in which I have got uh, something very great. I'm reattempting it and there is no limit to the attempts. Now, this is how it is happening. So this is about the quizzes thing. I'm moving on to grades. In the grades one, you can see the effect of that 0% out of 100%. This is zero, the grades from 86 to came to 67. This is text quiz 2, where these were. Continue the last attempt. It is in progress. So once the child has clicked there to take the quiz, it comes as in process. So this is what I was talking about, creating the quizzes. Uh, you can move on to certain queries and questions, and you might have been doing the we can restrict the quiz attempts, Nishaji. It is it is very much there. Like when when you, when you are setting the quiz, uh, it is there. I can I can show you. I gave two attempts to something. You can give one attempt to it. Like create this is the first quiz, CITVT, and uh, I have to turn the editing on that I did not. Oh, student portal. I'll change it to my normal role. Uh, anyone who has got a query can kindly like you can even switch on the mic and then you can share your questions now this is the quiz which has been attempted and see edit the quiz now for me like you cannot add or remove questions but if there is a new quiz which is there I could have changed the, the in the beginning when I'm adding the quiz it is possible for me to change it the attempts can be fixed in the beginning that's very easy in the attempts portion when you were giving a, when you were adding a quiz it is possible very much possible uh, please help for the text how equations can be written uh, the friendly that has to be like you you try and write the equations you you take that option i would say how to add different types of uh, how to delete the preview attempts preview attempts means the testings these can be deleted you can delete the attempts by the the students you can easily delete them that is not an issue now suppose i'm adding one more quiz this is the quiz thing And when I'm doing this, there is there is a timing thing, three minutes I want to give in, and then there are these options. I say layout and overall and appearance and everything. All these things are there when I am going to create a quiz. This is the timing thing. And the moment I click on timing, this is there. Time limit, this one. And then grades are there, layouts are there, review options are there, appearance is there. Extra restrictions on attempts that... Uh, password can be can be placed on it one attempts are submitted automatically when times all these things are here so when you are like setting the quiz you can work on that thing grading attempts allowed in the under the grade option you have got attempts allowed unlimited 10 attempts one attempt two if two are there highest grade should be taken average of the two attempts first attempt or last attempt you can do this thing suppose you want average of the two that can be done so these things are there under this thing. Now your questions. Ah, uh, you can you can yes in the in the feedback option you can write those things. You can we we just say we we can give them the feedback for the right and wrong also. Like if you remember when I created a manual question, I wrote uh, hundred percent for it, and I can write a feedback also. If if they click on this, this comes. Multiple questions with more than one answer correct mark award only the one uh, that is automatically graded because we had saved it. Preview attempts, Dr. Srinivas Rao will delete. Will will demonstrate that also. 
multiple choice from where to add like from the notepad we have added uh, dr renuvej the multiple choice we created the multiple choice i'm sharing with you only one way there are multiple ways fill in the blanks and matching and everything they require more time so that is one thing i have requested dr ramesh sharma also like uh, who's a mentor from moodle i'll say he mentors everyone and so there is a possibility that if i ask him for some time he'll also assist us dr saranya also knows him i requested him that in the hands on session if he can assist us so that would be a favor on us i'll drop him a message also uh, ma'am yes sir and add it sir in the morning itself okay ma'am uh, so what i'll do is i'll just what i'll do yes sir uh, yes ma'am i'm just asking yeah now see adding and grading and all these things are there uh mic can be like muted okay okay ma'am uh now i can format black pushottam kumar ji have shared it right hot potatoes is there missing word is there web city is there we have for i can we use this now can we block formats from entering the other sites while taking the test this question i'll refer to sharma sir there are safe uh, you say exam browsers also i'm um, yet to explore them to be true they are integrated when you people are making your own site using moodle on your server on genomio we don't have it but there are such things possible that you can keep a track you can restrict them how to add formulas for analytical paper okay please help for text file import process uh, sudarshanan ji you make a text file where we used to turn the editing on at the same place we have got a more option you click on the more option you find questions you say import and the same text file is brought by you and once it is brought you go to the same quiz you created or you create a quiz and then you get to the edit quiz option and add question from the question bank because you created a question bank the same way you created the participants so it is almost the same track it is it possible to add or pick any structure like civil engineering yes it must be i am not able to upload in blackboard format don't uh, like not to try the blackboard format uh, sir uh, dr ramesh sharma if you like can hear me is it possible like we can have you for some time taking some queries also for the advanced those users who are the exposed to the advanced usage of uh, this thing i'm just checking with sir uh, meanwhile anyone has got any query till this process or at 2 when you people will be there then we can like work on it can you tell which format is needed uh, can you help in announcements yes so our prabhu ji announcements will can work on in the announcements we put the course objective in the announcements we put the outcomes possible outcomes and the guidelines that we want to give to our students that is what we do in the announcement portion can you tell which format is needed to upload a quiz txt file is prashottam ji is the format that i am suggesting uh sir is just coming for these few minutes mm, add a pic yeah yeah pictures are possible see uh, those things will be there i i'll share the questions with sir and then he'll answer those things hello good uh, afternoon everyone uh good afternoon sir thank you for joining uh can you hear me uh yes sir i can hear you ma'am can confirm okay sir yes uh, sir the chat is open oh. to you sir the queries are there oh, okay yes yes please let me know the people they can type it in the chat box uh, i can read it from there or maybe one by one if they can uh, i think it's better because they can explain their uh, question uh, very well so there is one question is it possible to conduct online examination to all at the same time yes in our university uh 
uh, at clear at ambedkar uh, university in new delhi we have already conducted an online examination using the moodle and it's a uh, this a uh, quiz feature or assignment feature what you can do is that in a when in the course setting you can fix the timing and the date and the time and like uh, we did we open the uh, uh, this uh, uh, question the quiz at 10 o'clock and set the settings of closing it by 12 o'clock and inform on the students so that way it can be done is it possible to add okay can you please hold because it is scrolling up then there is one question is it possible to add a pic of any structure like civil engineering uh, actually where you want to add it if you are uh, if uh, you can add your question your, your image your, any photo into the quiz yes uh, if you want to add a picture of any structure like civil engineering into assignment the answer is yes okay then there is one question i have a doubt whether math editor can be used when it is posted in pasted in notepad yes if you can just paste it into the notepad it may uh, support it how many times at a time how many students can take test through moodle actually uh, this question is by ashok uh, jagannathan uh, from the moodle side there is no restriction if you have created your moodle instance say on moodlecloud.com definitely you can have 1 plus 49 means one u and then 49 total 50 users but if you have your institutional moodle or you are, you are using any cloud based services of the moodle then there is no uh, uh, limitation because it depends on your server's capacity that how many students and uh, uh, you know uh, the the depending on its memory uh, its uh, database uh, version etc that can that it can handle how to add formulas in questions for analytical paper uh, in 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 moodle the newer version the mathematical symbols uh, are provided there so you can add them you can type it from there uh, can we block students from entering the other sites while taking the test the answer sadly is no because you never know you 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 can't control their machine so if they can open a new tab or even if i have say two laptops with me and i can keep them side by side so uh, that is uh, very difficult can we play a ppt directly or a pdf can be viewed directly without download actually that depends on how this question is by r prabhu uh, that depends on in what format you have uh, used it if you are using it as a file means go to the uh, add an activity or resource go to the resource add a file in that case it won't be displayed directly it will be downloaded by the student because it is a file but if you can get the embedding code from here some of the websites they provide the html code of the embedding code or the iframe feature in that case then you can uh, you you can try it for getting it directly but uh, otherwise it is <clears throat> okay the next question abdul is it possible to add picture of any structure like excel engineering in quiz or in examination yes we can add it the And is it possible to add integration differential symbols? Yeah, in Moodle you can explain, you can explore the features by going into the uh, uh, edit editor, the auto editor, uh, uh, and uh, there you can find the uh, those symbols. For a design course, say machine design or engineering drawing, what are the options of examination in Moodle? Ah, uh, actually. it depends on your creativity you can create your design your the course your examination on any subject whatever is possible uh long back uh, i gave a training uh, to some people and uh, you will be happy to know it that there is a doctor the real doctor a, a, the fake doctors not like us means the phd's the paper doctors but they are the real physician doctor in kolkata and he is running a course on moodle <clears throat> for radiology and that is a free course 
I'll, I'll try to search his uh, uh, course URL. <coughs> and uh, he is running a course for medical sciences. Means that for the people, for the doctors who want to learn radiology. Radiology, you may be knowing about the X-ray and those kind of uh, things. So he is running very well. So now you can see that uh, if your engineering course is as equivalent as to the medical science course. Dr. Gopi is asking, is it possible to visualize the biological science practical? And to, oh, I, I just gave you the example of this radiology. And uh, uh, perhaps if you go to the website of Miranda House now, Miranda House is one of the prestigious colleges of New Delhi. Uh, and on their website into the notifications field, you will find a link for webinar on Moodle. Uh, I'm giving them a training tomorrow. Uh, for their for their geology department <clears throat> and dr shadana <clears throat> sharma she attended one of my training programs uh, uh, sometimes back and she created her, her microbiology course on using moodle cloud and her course is running very well uh, i i think most of the activities now it is means not during this corona lockdown period even before that she has been using the uh, lms for her biology courses, and uh, uh, she is making a wonderful use of this platform. <clears throat> so, yeah, like slide share, uh, uh, Dr. R. Prabhu. Okay, uh, uh, Ashok Jagannathan is asking if students cannot be prevented in entering to other side, it becomes unfair evaluation of the students. Actually, yesterday I attended a meeting with EDEN, which is the European Distance Education Network for the Europe. Uh, it was on online assessment, and there we were discussing that uh, means uh, why should we bothered about it? If the students they are cheating, for whom they are cheating? Means just getting the marks doesn't make you uh, intelligent enough or to survive later on. And for that matter, even you can see that uh, uh, there is a uh, means uh, particularly like in Hinduism, we believe in uh, you know. Uh, the uh, destiny so even if you are completely illiterate you can reach as many as much height or even if you are if you have phd in 21 subjects yeah i know a person uh, i think he is uh, i don't know which area from he has got phd in many many subjects many many subjects not only one or two many many but still you, you can't be so i mean those things are there but it depends on us I can have an open book examination. I can allow my students that, okay, go out to any website, go, go there, open any book, whatever you do, just answer my question. And I can frame my question in such a way that unless they have the understanding, they won't be able to. You know, this, this problem arises when we have our questions so simple, referring only to the recall factor or the, or the knowledge factor, which you can very quickly either search from Google or from the books. We seldomly go up to the higher levels of uh, uh, our competencies. So that way, uh, you know, but I, I think we should not be bothered about whether the students, they cheat or not. You know, if I am adamant on cheating, I can cheat. It's, it's a case of, uh, uh, you know, uh, who is ahead of whom, either the police or the thief, something like that. So there. Uh, okay, uh, further question. Okay, I reply to the question by Dr. Shok. Then uh, K. Shirisa is asking any CAD software can be integrated. Uh, actually, uh, you know, the question of integration, uh, I can tell you it in a broad sense. Any software can be integrated with anyone. Hello? It got cut, perhaps, or what? No, okay. sir, you're audible, audible, sir. OK, any software can be integrated with any other piece, provided it has made available its API. Through application programming interface, the, 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 the two parties can be integrated. So on one side, you have the model. On another side, you have, say, a big blue button or Zoom or WebEx for web conferencing, yes, it can be done. So similarly, these CAD CAM softwares, if they can, means uh, uh, in that case, we need to find 
from that uh, uh, company like the CAD CAM software. Uh, they have that and then that integration is possible through that. And I use MCQ image. Yeah, you can, uh, this by Lumilai, uh, you can use the MCQ image, uh, no problem into that. But then uh, uh, what purpose it will serve? Because it will remain only an image. It may not be an uh, interactive kind of image in which you can click inside unless you create a, another kind of drag and drop kind of exercise. There is, I think, uh, Dr. Parveen, uh, maybe I don't know if the time is available. Otherwise, in H5P, there are certain things which you can create on which the image can be a clickical kind of image. Sure. Uh, next question is by Pranavan. The participants also need the Moodle account for this online. Oh, I think this is a comment or any other tool. Whether the notepad format is same for all type of questions like fill in the blanks, etc. Actually, we, we use notepad or notepad C, notepad plus plus. Uh, notepad plus plus is basically used in uh, for web page designing because that makes the HTML document later on to be opened in a web browser uh, to a good extent. That way, uh, we use Notepad because it converts the text into ASCII format. You may be knowing about this ASCII format, which is an international format for any formatting free text, the pure text uh, based uh, things. Uh, and then the text later on, when you put it into LMS or in any website where it can go, uh, the appearance will be uh, as fine as you wanted it. And uh, there will be no corruption of information or data into it. Then, okay, thank you. There is no real name, but physics AP is written. Uh, okay, open textbook. Okay, okay, Dr. Gopi is giving a comment, only not put. Uh, Andal is asking only notepad format should be used. Actually, if you are uh, speaking it in the sense of icon format, uh, then yes, the notepad format or any other uh, simple text editor, if it is available with you. The simple reason is that if you used uh, for this icon format, like MS Word, then MS Word puts certain uh, back and codes into the document uh, for the formatting properties into it. And we don't want our questions to be garbled when they appear on the screen. That's why they, we, we use them. Uh, okay, Dr. Gauri Shankar Rao, uh, thank you so much. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Dr. R. Prabhu is asking, if we want to find similar site like what we created, can we access others and where we can find it? Uh, can you a little bit explain it further? Because uh, if you want to find similar site, similar site to what? I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't uh, uh, understand this question fully. Okay, uh, Dr. Uh, Bhim Kumar is asking, please suggest easy tool or website to create videos about lecture. Uh, I'm not sure whether it has has been already covered or uh, uh, Dr. Parvin will be covering it. Uh, maybe uh, I don't want to, you know, disturb your sequence. So perhaps uh, in the post-lunch session when things are going to be completed, maybe we can have a quick round of question answer sessions and then we can disturb because I don't know if Dr. Parvin is uh, taking up that next session or not. And then uh, uh, at that time uh, we can as well. I yes, hope you don't yes, mind about that. And then uh, any background or any particular department subject means the website for that. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, there is a there are some good sites uh, like uh, if uh, you go to this MIT Blossoms videos, there are quite good number of things. And uh, just in the morning, means it is not for mechanical, but uh, I have shared a good simulation site. Let me just wait uh, if I have not deleted that. Uh, I shared it in one another group. There is a good resource for simulations. Just give me one minute if I can find that. Uh, okay. Uh, 
uh, I have just pasted some site, uh, particularly because I wanted one uh, uh, university for their uh, uh, this uh, dean, RNA, DNA, etc. I'm, I'm assisting them. So this is PHET simulations, and I know that there are certain simulations. Just see the last one the third URL uh, in this sequence, because the first two are specifically for gene, but the last one is the common one. And there you go to the simulations and go to the category. Perhaps there you will find, I remember that there were some for chemistry uh, and uh, physics, etc. they were there. So uh, yes, uh, this uh, site of blossoms.mit, uh, that is the correct one. Uh, this site is open source site and it has the resources in various languages means not Indian uh, local languages but like uh, English German Portuguese Spanish and 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 those things and it has good on uh, basically on science subjects but created by MIT and they are they are, they are, they are good resources there yeah. okay yes sir. Uh, any questions or perhaps I think it is time for your uh, lunch break uh, yes, maybe sir. we can meet again after the when you join later on uh, yes sir post lunch like the sum uh, the summative and those detailed grading thing i'll need like your guidance in that thing we'll be working on embedding videos and powerpoint presentations post lunch and uh, we request all the participants to come up with the, the things that we have done till now you can actually implement them and see how the course looks like if there is any still there is any query you can post it to the whatsapp group and our own classmates and course mates can reply to those queries if possible sir uh, sir thank you very much for helping us out with this thing and explaining the things very well okay thank you everyone thank you dr gopi thank you shirisha ji tilaga ji and uh, take care uh, see you soon again next in your session bye bye uh, yes ma'am uh, ma'am we'll meet at 2 2 10 then making it a one hour lunch break and uh, yes, and we have got a very few things like the video thing we'll we'll share i'll also mention the screen castify how you can record uh, those things video management video editing audio editing we'll do a quick uh, look up on it those who have got queries they will take the an answers for it and other people are requested to simultaneously at two they can start working on their projects and in live working if they have got some trouble they can like ask what we have done is we have uh, uh, there was one session then hands-on then lunch then session then hands-on but we'll post lunch post lunch we are going to keep it completely hands on here with the 15 10 15 20 minutes for me to explain a few things yes sir okay ma'am thank you sir uh, i request all the participants uh, to kindly follow the instructions given by our business person and please be back at uh, 10 so that we can make use of this opportunity and learn more and we can clarify our doubts also thank you thank you all. okay